All right, here's a quick video overview of the low-line fo DIY fog machine that I made. Uh, so this is the version that basically creates low-line fog without the need for using ice or chiller or anything like that. All right, so this isn't a, a new design or anything that I came up with. So there's plenty of examples of these you know, all over YouTube for the last couple of years. This is just my version. Uh, so to start with, I'm using a 20-gallon um, waterproof Husky tote. These are great because they already have a you know the seal built in and it's got six, six clasps all the way around, so it does a really good job sealing. On uh, the first couple tests I did, you know I didn't notice any fog leaking out from the machine. So again, 20 gallon. Um, the concept in here is that you know basically you use this ultrasonic mist maker um, to help cool off that incoming fog and you know help it stay low to the ground. So this is a, a Dyna Living 12 head ultrasonic mist maker. Uh, you can get those on Amazon for about 100, 150 to bucks, depending on which brand you go with. The output for the fog, so I'm using three inch electrical conduit fittings. Um, so basically just a male and female. These are nice because they screw together really tight, um, not like PVC fittings, which are very difficult to screw together. Um, to seal it, I'm using um, basically Loctite PL um, polyurethane roof roofing and flashing sealant. Uh, so it's a nice thick uh, black rubber material, easy to spread and, and dries and sticks to basically anything. Uh, the outlet over here, just another, you know, big ABS fitting. Temporarily, just to test this out, I'm using just uh, some four inch uh, dryer duct hose that I bought on Amazon. Here is the inline four inch duct fan. Uh, so that's basically what pulls the fog out of here and, you know, directs it to wherever you want. Here's the uh, the setup I'm going to use just to test it out in the garage. You, you know, th this thing's nice because it's got a speed controller so you can let it, you know, you can run it without the fan and just let the, the fog come out on its own naturally, or you can use the fan to help really, really push it out along the entire length of piping that you have. So on the lid itself, um, basically another two inch electrical conduit fitting sealed again with that same polyurethane. There is the inlet elbow, so that's where the fog is going to go in from the fog machine. And here I have a small uh, cord gripper fitting. So again, you know, a little bit of polyurethane, and that's where the outlet cord from the ultrasonic mist maker comes out of the lid. That we have a nice airtight seal, and then you're not losing any fog. So in order to make that work, I did have to cut the the wires here and then reconnect them and splice them together again. You know, in order to pass it through the lid. So here's a mist maker by itself running, uh, just you know, nothing attached. You know, have a, the lid open right now. Not really doing, you know, it's got a nice little output, but it's certainly not enough if you want to create, you know, fill up a whole yard with some of that low line fog. Uh, so right now you can see the smoke start to rise a little. And so if I take this and, and turn on the fan, even with just the lid on, you'll see the fan does a pretty good job of pulling, of just pulling that smoke out of there. So it really helps to move that fog out. And you'll see a little bit start to come over here at the end if we don't start to lose it all. Yeah, you can see a little bit coming out there. So that's just the mister by itself with the lid open. All right, here is the fog machine set up on top of the unit. So I'm using a Chauvet Hurricane 1000 watt unit. Uh, I was sitting on a little board there just to elevate to get it, you know, the, that outlet pretty much in line with this fitting here. And so you want to leave a bit of a gap so, you know, it creates sort of a Venturi effect, which really pulls in that, fo that fog a lot quicker than if you have just a completely sealed unit. So the unit itself, I'm using this Froggy's Bog Fog liquid. Um, this is actually a brand new unit before I had a little cheaper 400 watt. So this is going to be the first time I tried out with the bigger 1000 watt unit. So we'll fire it up and see how it goes. All right, fog machine is warmed up. I already gave him a little puff of smoke here. So I'm going to hit the continuous button and just let it run. And you see the stream just gets pulled into the unit itself. No leaks here, which is good. And you can see here we got the nice uh, bit of smoke that's coming out and you see how it just falls and sticks to the ground. And so that's where the fan off. So turn the fan on to give it a little bit of air. And you can see it really pumps up the flow. Just within a couple of seconds it you know pretty much fully coats the garage. And once it hits the breeze, it sort of floats away. But really nice setup, very nice results using the ultrasonic mister in this tote here. Give it some more fan speed. Yep, there you go.